Hey guys, welcome to another anatomy video and today I'll be covering the muscles found in the brachium. Now if you guys watched my last video, you guys saw how I was able to identify the origin, insertion, and action of each muscle. So today I'm not going to take so much time explaining how I identify the origin, insertion, and action. And I'm going to more just identify them and write them out for you. So if you don't know how I am able to analyze the muscles and identify all the origins and insertions, go ahead and watch my last video. Um, I just don't want these videos to be more than 20 minutes long so you guys are able to study more efficiently. So the first muscle that we're going to learn that's found in the brachium is this muscle right here. And this is your biceps brachii muscle. Biceps means two heads, so this is the brachial muscle with two heads. There's one head right here and there's another right there. The one found on the left side is called the long head of the biceps brachii muscle. And this one found on the medial aspect is called the short head of the biceps brachii muscle. Since we have two different heads on this muscle, we're going to have two different origins, but you can see that they insert in the same place. Starting with the long head of the biceps brachii muscle, we see that the origin is right around here. And if we go to the left image, it's right here, indicated in this red color. So the origin for the long head of the biceps brachii muscle is the neck of the scapula. Now the origin for the short head is going to be found right here on this process and this is the coracoid process of the scapula. Now that we've identified both the origins for the long and short head of the biceps brachii muscle, we can go ahead and discuss where the insertion is. If we look in the right image, we see that the insertion point's right here, and it's only found on the radius. So if we go to the left image, it's right around here. The bony landmark that we learned for this region is called the radial tuberosity, so that's the insertion point for the biceps brachii muscle. So now we need to discuss the actions for the biceps brachii muscle. The first one's quite obvious. If you see that the muscle, when it contracts, it's going to be able to flex the elbow joint. Remember, we can only flex and extend joints. We can't flex and extend regions, muscles, or bones. The next action that the biceps brachii muscle can do is flex the shoulder joint since it crosses over the shoulder joint. And finally, the last action that the biceps brachii muscle can do is supinate the antebrachium. And fun fact, it is the strongest supinator muscle found in the body. So remember that, the biceps brachii muscle is the strongest supinator muscle. Now the last thing I need to discuss before we move on to the next muscle is this right here. Right here we have this sheet-like tendon and it inserts into the fascia of the antebrachial muscles. This fascia right here is called the bicipital aponeurosis. Okay, so just remember that a sheet-like tendon is called an aponeurosis. So this is going to be the bicipital aponeurosis. Now we can go ahead and move on to the next muscle. This muscle shown here is called the brachialis muscle. Its origin is located right here, and it's shown right here on the left image. So the origin is going to be the anterior aspect of the body of the humerus. The insertion is going to be located right here on the ulna, also indicated on the left image right here. This insertion point is the coronoid process of the ulna. And finally, the action for this muscle is just flex the elbow joint. Now 
Now we go ahead and move to the posterior aspect of the brachium. This muscle's name is called the triceps brachii muscle. The triceps brachii muscle means there's three heads. That's what the tri is for. If we remember biceps means two heads. Triceps mean there's three. There are three heads like I just mentioned and they are the long head of the triceps brachii muscle, the lateral head, and finally this one right here, that's the medial head of the triceps brachii muscle. Now you may be thinking, why is this considered the medial head of the triceps brachii muscle when it seems to be more lateral than the lateral head of the triceps brachii muscle? And I'm going to show you the explanation in the middle image. Right here, it's easy to see the long head of the triceps brachii muscle as well as the lateral head. But if you look at the muscle that's shaded in yellow right here, you can see that this muscle head is more medial than it is to the lateral head, and that's why it's considered the medial head of the triceps brachii muscle, even though its insertion point is slightly more lateral than the lateral head. So again, this is the medial head. Now I'm going to go ahead and erase some of these notes. Since we have three different heads for this muscle, we're going to have three different origins. Starting with the long head of the triceps brachii muscle, it originates right here. So the origin for the long head of the triceps brachii muscle is going to be the lateral border of the scapula. The origin for the lateral head, indicated in red right here, is going to be the lateral posterior aspect of the body of the humerus. And finally, the medial head of the triceps brachii muscle is going to be the medial and posterior aspect of the body of the humerus. And those are the origins for the triceps brachii muscle. Now let's discuss the insertion points. It's quite easy to see that all the three heads of the triceps brachii muscle kind of funnel together and they insert into the same point located here. The insertion point for the triceps brachii muscle is the olecranon of the ulna. Now when discussing the actions for the triceps brachii muscle, it's easy to see that it extends the elbow joint. However, out of the three heads, there's only one head that actually originates on a different bone, being the scapula. The other two originate from the humerus. Because of this, there are two additional actions that are caused by the long head of the triceps brachii muscle, and they are extend the shoulder joint and adduct superior limb at the shoulder joint. And those are all the actions found in the triceps brachii muscle. Now the last muscle that we're going to discuss is called the anconius muscle. And it's located on the posterior aspect of the humerus and it goes to the ulna. I have this image in the center here to show you where it would be with all the muscles surrounding it. The origin for this muscle is located here on the humerus, which is the lateral pecondyle of the humerus. The insertion starts at the proximal end of the ulna and goes down partly down the body of the ulna, also shown here in the left image. So the insertion point is going to be the olecranon of the ulna,
an adjacent body. When this muscle contracts, all it does is it extends the elbow joint. And those are all the muscles found in the brachium. I hope this video was helpful and it's going to be more effective towards your studies. Take care.